New into stock we have a, a really lovely car. Um, it was all ready to come out and film and unfortunately it rained a, a short while ago and it's brought half the Sahara Desert down on the vehicle. So it's not as shiny as it was half an hour ago, but it is a beautiful car underneath that. It's a Jaguar XF 2.2D R Sport Sport Brake, so it's the estate version. It's automatic, has done 58,436 miles. Fuel economy, urban 46.3, extra urban 62.8, Combined is 54.3, 0 to 60 time of 8.2 seconds, top speed of 134 miles per hour out of 197 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. As I say, it really, really is a lovely car, great to drive, um, and probably one of the best looking estates in, in my opinion. We've got Xenon headlamps, front parking sensors, high pressure headlamp wash, the chrome grille, multi-spoke jag wheels, the R Sport insignia there, Got the roof rail carrier system, rear privacy glass, remote tailgate opening, the rear seats fold forward flat, they're also split 60-40, um, nice long load area, we've got power close, the reversing camera lens is there too, integrated tailgate spoiler and rear parking sensors. Plenty of room in the back, the seats are well above my shoulder height, headrest just right, it's uh, kind of leatherette and Alcantara seats, really comfortable, sculptured to keep you in place. It's a five seater with the three belts, the Isofix child seat anchor points here. Rear armrest with two cup holders, parcel nets, and we've got this checker plate aluminium around the, the door handles. Airbags uh, in the B pillar and the C pillar. Really, really nice and comfortable. And again, it doesn't look like it's been sat in the back. I'm, I'm starting to wonder why manufacturers make so many four and five seat cars, because the ones we're getting lately, it, it, they're just not used in the back, which is a good thing, I suppose. It, it, car's lovely, absolutely lovely, and it absolutely beautiful to be a passenger in. I'll just take you for riding it. We have the nice Jaguar Land Rover key here. It's uh, keyless go, so just as long as you've got the key on your person, the car will start. And just, uh, just sh I'll just show you that again. I'll turn the fan on, turn the, this off. And there you go, the gear selector rises out of the center console and the vents open up. We've got electric seats here, we'll just get a bit further back. And uh, I, I really like this uh, selector idea rather than having a gear stick. It's, uh, it just seems so much easier and uh, not as obtrusive, makes the cabin look bigger in the front without having the gear stick here. Uh, one of my favorite cars to drive. In my opinion, certainly better than the BMW to drive and also to be a passenger in. Nice and smooth, the gearbox is absolutely tremendous. You don't know it's changed really. Um, I've just been using a Mercedes, which was a very, very nice car. But uh, I think when we get back to the garage, I'll, I'll probably tax this to use myself. It's, uh, it's ideal for me with being the sport brake. I can get all my camera equipment in the back and uh, it's economical as well. It's as powerful as I need and uh, it's a lovely looking car very very well equipped we do have the sat nav Bluetooth hands-free and also Bluetooth audio streaming cruise control which I'll show you the um, steering wheel there is height and reach adjustable electrically operated and 
some cars you, you kind of fight with to get them around a, a roundabout like so, having to put pressure on and keep it on all the time. The, the Jag steering is, is very, very good, nice and light, a proper luxury car feel to it. And I, I suppose some are a compromise between a, a sports car and a luxury car. This is a luxury car. Um, you've no desire to go fast in it. It's just a nice, smooth, quiet cruise. Everything's to hand. Nicely finished with this checker plate aluminium on the uh, insets on the dash and the door card and the, the gear tunnel. It's a nice contrast with the car being black on the outside and the kind of black leather with dark grey Alcantara or dark, sorry, black leatherette with dark grey Alcantara. Seats are nice and comfortable. I don't think they look quite as nice as leather, nearly as nice, but um, they're certainly more comfortable and uh, not too hot in the summer and too cold in the winter when you first get in. You've got paddle shift on the steering wheel. You've also got, you can select sport there. Just press down and turn over to sport. You probably hear the engine noise or the engine note change. Uh, the revs increase, makes the throttle more sensitive. But uh, for me, in drive is absolutely perfect. I used one of these uh, a few weeks ago, a few months ago now probably. I went down to the Jaguar Heritage Center, which is uh, a, a great day out. I, I, I kind of loved it. And uh, we'll, we'll let him accelerate again. And when I went in the, the center in the Jag, the, uh, <laughs> he showed me right to the door and I parked right next to the door very very proud of the heritage and, and also very proud of their owners we used to have a 3.4 when I was a kid and uh, it was just beautiful I think that guy's a numpty the instrument panel there we've got the speedo on the left rev counter on the right information panel in the center tells you what gear you're in nice big letters there's a clock and uh, let me just see there you go from the end of the indicator stalk you can change the display on the information and we've got range and we'll try and get past this guy Average fuel, average speed, miles per hour, and to be fair, I always like to keep it on the miles per hour. When it's not a digital display, it tells you exactly no ambiguity of, of what speed you're doing. Um, I've cut myself up now, I'm, in, <laughs> I'm kind of in the wrong lane, but because the transporter turned off to the left. Who'd have thought he'd have been in the right lane? As I say, the steering is just nice and light, effortless to accelerate away. I've used the three litre as well, and I'm, I'm pretty sure, unless you have a stopwatch, you can't tell the difference. Perhaps engine noise uh, slight, but this is, this is as fast as you need. We're at 70 already. Make sure we're in tow, oh, seventh, eighth. We're right, we're in eighth gear now, doing 70 miles an hour at just over 1500 revs. Car's lovely and quiet, just built for cruise, which reminds me, it's just uh, it's also got one of the easiest cruise controls to use. No switching it on and then clicking the minus button to get your speed and then plus button to increase. You just turn this thumb wheel up and the cruise comes on straight away. We're just at 69 there, so I'll just knock it up to 70. And uh, so we're spot on 70. 
just over 1500 revs and as I say with the paddle shift at the back here nice and easy all your controls are to hand we've got power socket there and little uh, cubby hole two cup holders and a nice nice touch with a don't fly open in, in some BMWs you, you press the uh, cup holder and it shoots out the dashboard like there's no tomorrow the, the Jag everything's laid back about the Jag just press that and it opens up nicely I'm not sure what it no gee whiz Now she's indicating I'm not sure what she's gonna do. <laughs> Pull onto the hard shoulder or into those trees. So good brakes on the jag as well. That's um ladies adopting the uh, early indication process. It's starting to indicate from the junction before the junction you want to uh, turn off at. A Dacia Sandero. Anyway, so indicators on the left here. You can see them above the quarters of three. Nice leather steering wheel and the R Sport design there. Not sure the, uh, they thought the R sport through when they when they called it that, but uh, it's a lovely car all the same. Uh, 50 miles an hour. Let's just hope she's not going the same way as we are. Still not sure. No, still not sure. Starting to break. Starting to... Oh no, she's coming into the outside lane now. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. Let's go. I'm good in the outside lane. <laughs> I couldn't stand her overtaking me. So, lovely seats. Nice and built up. Electric. Electric windows, we'll just test those while we're here. Yep. This is a shame that one's on green as well. Just built up a bit of speed, but just go around this. Uh, come through the lights late much. Come through the lights on red, just enough to cut my uh, little drive up through this section of the motorway. Yep, not a big believer in indicators or red lights. There we go, again, a wobble on. And then just, it just, it really is a lovely car. Definitely going to tax it when we get back so I can use it. So we've got the power open and close rear tailgate as well. It's also got a fastening system in the in the load area, and uh, they're still in the box. The, the little catches are still in the box, never been used. The reason the gentleman swapped it is because he needed a, a kind of a truck for work and we had the ideal one for him. As I say, the steering, it's, uh, Lovely. 
I'll show you how to pair your mobile to the Bluetooth. It's quite an easy system. Um, and also how to stream audio through the speakers. How to set the sat nav and, and how to delete a mobile from the system. Just uh, there you go. Changing up just from the paddles. Looks like I'm going to be stuck behind this person here for uh, a good while, so I'll finish the test drive here. And um, if you get a chance, just check out our shop. We've uh, we've got a load of affiliates now. That anything from driving experience days to clothes, a range of finance, a range of insurance, breakdown cover, by parts. Um, cameras, GoPros, DJI drones. Um, we've affiliated with a lot of people. We, we now get 450,000 views a month plus and it's climbing all the time. So hopefully we'll, we'll be able to uh, pay you back for watching and sticking with us. We've got 8,000 subscribers and that's going up all the time. So. Um, what, we, what we're going to try and do is benefit uh, our customers and also the people who watch our videos and, and basically support us and have done for a, a number of years and our, our, we're, we're very grateful. So I'll finish the test drive here. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully, as I say, if you go to the shop, click on the link, uh, you'll find something of benefit that will also save you money or time.